What's going on YouTube? John here with Dig That Beat. I'm Mike. And we're at a house that Mike got for us through family. He knows the person that lives here. Cool thing is around the corner, before I knew Mike, I metal detected a yard and killed it. Probably got 30 wheat pennies, five or six silvers, including a walking Liberty half dollar. This looks like a good yard. Looks like it was played in, right Mike? Yep, it does. It looks great. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Alright, we'll be back with you in a few. Mike. Tell YouTube how many pieces of clay are out here. More than I want to dig. <laughs> We're going to have to come back every on step. every step. We're going to, have to come back on a Saturday. We don't have a lot of daylight, and there's promise. A lot of them are from the 60s. Mike got one wheat, and then right here, I just had a good sounding target. I'm going to have an old U.S. collar disc here. Um, it's got a pin back, one of the two uh, clips still on one of the sides or one of the pins. That's cool. That's a good relic. I will take it and we're gonna keep on digging. Oh, VAC. Uh, yeah, vaccination. Vaccination uh, dog? That'd be a weird one, it could be. So we're going over everything we found. It was a, about an hour hunt. Uh, we started off, had to get pinpointer batteries. Um, we wouldn't have gotten near this amount of stuff. Oh, sorry. We wouldn't have gotten near this amount of stuff had we not went and got pinpointer batteries. I mean, they're a time saver. And this right here just goes to show, we was there an hour and we got a ton of stuff as far as clad and some relics and some wheats. We're gonna show that to you. We're gonna follow this up with a second part to the video. So just keep watching. We just wanted to touch base real quick and kind of show you briefly what we got this first evening. All that clad in just about an hour. I mean, it's like every step. Eventually, I had to start skipping it because it was getting dark and it was running out of daylight. I got this little tag here. It says St. Louis, Missouri. Probably World War II, maybe one U.S. collar disc. Still has one of the pin back clips on it. I only got two wheats, but I dug this right at dark. I couldn't really tell what it was. We got the cleaning on it, and it's going to be a Mississippi uh, tax token, which is the first one of those I've ever dug. So I didn't know you had it. I didn't <clears throat> until Mike cleaned it up for me, but I'll put some cleaned up pictures in here for you guys to see it. Being I didn't get to record it because it was dark. And show me what you got real quick, Mike. What's a bunch of nothing? It's got a whole lot of clad. And a lot of 60s uh, clad. Uh, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wheat pennies. And a, a mystery item. It says G V A C. G on that side, V A C on that side. Mm -hmm. Who knows? So all those signals came out of that little small front yard in a matter of an hour. We're happy to go back. Homeowner's really cool with it. Um, we're going back Saturday morning. We'll have Gary with us. Charlie, I'm not so sure yet. But uh, keep watching and stay tuned for part two. Peace. All right, what's going on, YouTube? John here with Dig That Beat. I'm Mike. I'm Gary. And this is part two to the video you was just watching. We're back at these houses that you've seen in the first part of this video. And after this, we got two directions we can go and we're not sure which way we're going yet. So keep watching. We're gonna see if we can't pick up some more old, old coins in this yard. There gotta be some more here. We got eight or nine wheats last time and a few relics. So we're hoping for silver. We're looking for it. We're right. looking for it. We're back in a few. Yep, there's a silhouette. Can you see it? Not really, but it's in rough shape. Yeah, the ground here is really harsh on these coins, at least the copper ones. <clears throat> and uh, Mike got this here, it's about the size of a quarter, but thinner. And we're thinking it's a presidential token, but one of the brass copper ones, one of the better ones. It's just in really, really bad shape, real crusty. It is. That's a good start, though, man. Yeah, good it job. Is. You already got one. Two weeks. Two weeks. I got one. You week. got one, yeah. So, Gary, how many you got? Zero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I like. I'm trying to hold out for the shiny stuff. Walking down to Geary, we've come over to this far yard. We're still getting a lot of clad. I think he's finally got something cool for the video. Missing some pieces, but missing a hood. It's got all right. All the tires on that. It one. does. <laughs> Gonna be a nice looking little Tootsie toy car truck. It's like a little Jeep in it. It is. Remind you of your Jeep? No. Mine's <laughs> got a hood. 
<laughs> That's cool, man. I like it. Appreciate it. Good job, Gary. All right, so we're starting to get wheats right in the middle of this second part. <laughs> um, I was working out further, and Mike insisted I come over and do the center, so we split it up in thirds. Um, but right up against his line, if he would have come one line over, That's but he was so guy. generous, and <laughs> give it to me. So I appreciate it, Mike. Well, I was finding wheat, so I didn't want to find too many. So we finally got a silver out here. Some Merc, too. It looks old. Yeah, it's old. 23 Merc. Nice. Dang, That's my crazy, piece right man. here, I was telling you, it was 34. So, yeah, that makes sense. Good huh? job, man. But the, house, the house ain't that old. I appreciate you sharing, Mike. Oh, yeah. It looks, uh, it looks small, doesn't it? Well, it looks dime size. I'm trying to think. It's a rosy, Merc, I think. Merc. Is it? <coughs> yeah, I see your wings in her head. Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. Nope. Gary got a silver on the lower part of the yard. He's got a Merc. Sweet. Doesn't get a year. 44. Booyah. Nice. Good job. Now it's Mike's turn. Come on, Gary, Mike. Gary, man. Thank you, sir. Two silvers. Quick. I'm glad, man, because we, ha we had a feeling these yards were going to have silver if we could just work hard enough in them man because there's so many signals yeah there's a bunch for sure yeah that's cool it shows their stuff here man early in the be day patient. too yep good job gary thank you sir mike has already got up in the trees here and he already does something big and oh it's a triple, oh, a triple a token triple a token nice <laughs> Only because dude like poison it. that thing's really cool looking look it's got their member number on top no oh, man it was a member it was a particular person not yeah. just a token oh that's it's cool. got like an a and two Key, two seven key two or something it went on their keychain man carolina motor club triple a what if you could awesome. google it and they have look, that in the history it might it's got something on the back too with a star they don't make stuff like that anymore, man. That's so cool. That is awesome, dude. Mike, Mike, I like that better than our Mercs, man. No, I know you say that. <laughs> good job, I'd have dude. three weeks and he'd have a Merc, and he'd be like, I'd rather have you three weeks. Try to make me feel good. I know <laughs> he's lying, what friends do. But that's really cool, <laughs> man. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Which one would you rather have? I like the token, really. I, I really do, Yanni. I mean, I like silver, too. So but that, that token's, man, we don't, I've never seen one of those. But yeah. That's cool. That's car related. Right? Yeah, good job, Mike. That's sweet, man. So we had our next destination. We drove an hour and 10 minutes to get here. Um, it's an old school set, just the way it sits now in 55. We've been to this area and we know it's been hit hard, but this kind of sets about five, 10 minutes outside of town. So maybe it got missed. One thing is they're doing some construction out back. There used to be a field out there that looked like it could have been a ball field. But when we were coming in from the side, it's setting off fairground road, so it may have been an old fair site, but unfortunately it's messed off with no trespassing signs. Mike's playing in my back pocket. Did you find something? Yeah, my pin pointer. I knew you had it. <laughs> How, how'd you know I had it? Because it wasn't going to All right, let's see what we can find. What have you got, Gary? One wheat penny. Mike and got... Trinkets. Mike got a... Did you get a wheat here yet? You got a debuckle, right? Let me see a debuckle. Where, yeah. Where's your debuckle? Look. Right there. Okay. We're pretty sure they've done some work up there. But as we're getting this way, we're starting to get older coins, and I just got a wheat penny. And Mike got a buckle here. Old debuckle. It was what, nine inches? Oh, yeah. All the and, so I just got a wheat. Then right here, I'm going to let Mike clean it. I got a. Looks like a key fob or something. Yeah, well, this will look like a Liberty Bell. I'm gonna let Mike clean it. Definitely cool. You wanted a one piece? I prefer one, but you know, whatever you can do. Is that a Liberty Bell on it? That's sweet. So I think we're getting into a little bit more original ground right here. Oh, yeah. Something at the bottom that says Grands. 
Oh, yeah. I like something it. bell up top. Yeah, something bell, farm bell. That's cool, man. Yeah, I like that, man. That's cool. That is cool. Let's see if we can't get a silver right through here. Thank you. So, that kind of goes to show we're about to leave and we kind of beat around over here over there just trying different areas because you never know where they've worked where they haven't worked and this one little spot we got over here and started finding a few older coins a couple of wheat so we started focusing here and gary's on the board with another silver sure enough man how deep was it five inches all the way down there five six yep, a bit of it flipped up with the dirt so just work your area try different spots I mean, just because they put fill somewhere on the property doesn't mean they did the entire property up through there has been filled down through here is original and it's starting to pay off i really would have thought it was going to be a quarter worth the for, for numbers good job really good. appreciate it We just had to find where the untouched ground was. That's all it took. We've already dug numerous weeds. Gary got a silver, and I think Mike's on the board with us now too. Somebody hit it before me, man. It's all I, right. didn't, I didn't tear it up. It's all right. What you got? I don't know. You look at it. Rosie. No. Look at Rosie. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Hey, dude, it's silver. I took my glasses on when I look at it. Right now. 1951, man. Oh, yeah. Good job, mate. No mint. So yeah, this is all untouched, dude. There yeah. could be five more out here. Oh yeah. You act like you're forgetting what's going on here, Mike. I know what. It's been Tired, so long man. since Tired. you dug a silver or something. Yeah, I You get fist bumps on silver. Yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. Okay, so I just went and made a store run, got us all some something to drink, and Mike, where you at? Look at all the coins, man, that's crazy. So while I was gone, it's gonna be this one. He got a 52 rosy. He had a 51, now he's got a 52, so he just dug another silver dime while I was gone. Two or seven. What? Two or seven. Two. Oh, it may be a seven. That's that's the 51 seven yeah 57 so he just got that 57 rosie while i was gone and that dug up dirt can you imagine what's in that fence out there but was in the because no more dug yeah <laughs> i mean they reworked that front but this side up through here man is original good job dude good job man Twenty-six. Nice. All right, so we're about done with this side, and right here I had a solid twenty-six, and <laughs> I got a silver. I think it's a rosy. No, it's a merc. I thought it was a rosy. I knew it Not with my expert eye. <laughs> a forty-five merc last year. I will take it, man. We all got two silvers on the day. Good job, man. Thank nice. you. Gary, tell YouTube what you just dug. A buffalo nickel. I was going to get the GoPro, and then, <laughs> then what'd you find out, Gary? I realized the buffalo was looking the wrong direction, so, and it was a modern buffalo nickel. <laughs> hey, how'd you go in the... the sun's getting to me. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the park where I got the seated dime. Um, a guy next door come over talking to us so we can go through his yard. Super nice family. They were leaving, but I'm gonna pull the car down closer update you. I just found something pretty cool. Speed bumps. We're going to turn in right here and park. It's the house next to this old church. You may see be able to see Mike and Gary over there. 
gonna show you what I just got. So I'm thinking now that it's a flat button. There's nothing on this side. But on the back side, it says London and it has a crown and it almost looks like a little shank was in the middle. It still could be a weird coin or something, but I'm thinking it's a fancy flat button maybe. So yeah, it's an old house. Definitely probably late 1800s if I had to guess. So I'm gonna go join back up with them and see what else we can find. So we're not getting much outside that flat button I got. I did just get a super, super deep high tone and it's a first year wheat, 1909, but no mint, no VDB, no so VDB. just a plain. But I'll take it, it's a first year Sweet. wheat penny. We don't dig those every day. I like Sweet it, man. Good job, man. I'll probably send that back to the homeowner. I like it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so <laughs> I come back across to where, up there I got sat down two weekends ago and I started on this, like the property lines right through here, there's a ditch. I got one wheat right back there. I come up to where this brick pile is turned and I almost missed this signal because it was not clear. But I turned on it just right and it was a clear 26. And I think I've got another seeded dime out of here, which is just crazy. Oh yeah, no <laughs> doubt, man. That big old ding, doesn't it? Dang. It's bent. It's got some details on it though. I mean, I didn't bend it, but it's bent. It looks like 1880s. Mm. Man, I can't believe that, Gary. That's in three weeks, two seated. That don't happen. Do you, do you know how to read between lines? I do, I do. <laughs> Gary's still looking for his first, so he's gonna come over here and start gridding too, because I'd love to see him get a seated today. Oh, that's awesome, Thanks, dude. That is awesome. It's always fun to drop these things on Mike too. Mike's over here still working this yard. So never a good time. I went back on the other side before the ditch is that separates the county property from his property. And I got a wheat on the edge and you know, hardly nothing. There's no grass, just kind of wash out. I turned and started coming back down and caught a piece of a high cut cone and got right on it. Yeah, and got right on it and it started hitting solid 26. Listen. What's it hit now? You talk. 1881 or 1883. God. Yep. Ain't that insane? That's crazy. It's bent, but man, it was a clear signal once I got on top of it. Yeah, it don't count if it's bent. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Man, Second you're time a dog. I, I hate him. <laughs> I know it. Good job, I'm, John. I'm hating for this right now, too. I, I, that shot me, dude. When I seen it, I was like, you got to be kidding me. in this town in a row. I know it. We got to get more yards over here. <clears throat> I heard that before. <laughs> Y'all want help with here? No, nah, man. You know, I've been doing junk signals. I'm going to let Gary go from where I just uh, stopped because he, he never got sat down. So <clears throat> they could be another one. Uh, I missed yeah. two. That'd be yeah. a biggie for I you. I was over there digging a herd. <laughs> oh, no. He knew I got <laughs> oh. Heard that clap stomp. I knew I was in trouble. Gary, go try and see what you can get, man. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. Walking over to Mike. He's over here on the side of the property. Oh, that is cool, man. Mm -hmm. I wonder how old that is. Oh, yeah. Got an old brass buckle here. It's got double stains. It does. Whoop, rocks about that. Shoes, dude. But if y'all know anything on that, tell us. I mean, we don't know a lot about this super old stuff. We don't get to dig old, it often. Old area. We are. So if you know what that is or what it came off of, tell us, please. Mm -hmm. Yep, for real. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Running out of daylight, Mike said he's got something old here. Hitting 17 to 18 on the Equinox. That is a duck. It is, dude. That's cool. Maybe a hairpin or something? I don't know. That's neat, though. What is that? It is a hairpin. That's a duck hairpin. I see the old clips. Kaboom. That is cool, man. Old, older. That is. At the old spot. Hmm. That's interesting. i never seen one like that. Booyah. Good job. Thank you.
engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back to Tennessee. Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. Promise that she'd marry me. Mr. Kane, we leave that seat. I'll shovel coal. What's up? We're back to my shop. It's just completely dark outside. What? Talking about my bra. Uh, so we're gonna go over what we got. Um, this video consists of an evening hunt for about an hour with me and Mike, which you've seen at the first part of the video. Then today's hunt. Um, it was a really good day for us. I'm gonna show you. I've got this pile of clad here. Here's my quarters. I, think I got a really good day for one of us. Yeah. <laughs> got nine quarters, a pile of dimes, pennies, a nickel or two in there. Huge pile of trash, and for the better finds, pretty sure this button is a flat button. It's gonna be early 1800s. Got this key fob here, it's got a farm bell on it. Mississippi tax token, thimble, US collar disc, 15 wheat pennies, and for the silvers, I got two silver mercury dimes. One's a 1923, and then I got another seated dime. Um, almost back-to-back -back hunts, it was one hunt in between, 1883. Right. Mm. I am bragging a little bit on that one. I was bragging. really excited with that one. It sounded good too, so that made it even better. Mike, show them what you oh. got. I got, what are we gonna start with? The junk, look at all that <laughs> junk. Boy, that was a good signal. That bad boy's about 10 inches down. That's 50 cent. Yep. Um, I got two license plate reflectors. This little duck. That's cool. Hair, hair bow is over Hairpin, I think, man, yeah, it's different. John, they didn't see this. I didn't show them until now. I it's think amazing. it's um, E D and Company or no E P and Company, P E. I don't know. Anyway, an old Glock piece and a lantern piece. D buckle. This buckle, and if you know what it is, let us know because it's heavy, heavy gauge stuff. Fancy man. Fancy. Uh, twenty. What? Twenty two. Twenty two. Wheat pennies. That's over the two hunts, an hour the other night. The Triple A member um, token. It was uh, something about award for safe driving. That's pretty cool. cool. I've never seen one I like it. This is a, we're pretty sure it's a uh, presidential. presidential token. And uh, it's pretty eat up, but you can see all the wording on the back a little bit. And then you got the two rosies. And then I got all the clad uh, memorials, all the clad dimes, the clad quarters. I was going to count them, but I oh, That's a big stack of quarters. And uh, 65 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I found that in a, uh, in a plate ground. But I think that's about it. What you got here? A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff. Big pile of trash. Mm -hmm. Big pile of brass. 14 quarters, a bunch of pennies and dimes. Three nickels. One is a buffalo nickel. It's <laughs> not an old buffalo it's not nickel. Old. That would have got me too. <laughs> uh, car wash token. Not sure where it's from. It's a Tootsie Toy Jeep. Nine wheat pennies. Two little buttons, an accordion reed and two mercs that was my haul for the day my back hurts yeah we're pretty beat up uh, long day of digging we left this morning uh, i think we got to that house around 9 30. we didn't want to get there too early just to kind of be respectful and not not they sure was gone when we got there. they were yeah so we could have even got there earlier but we got done there around lunch drove an hour 10 minutes Finished the day out in that town and it paid off for us. Um, the school at first was really slow, but once we got onto an older part of the school that hasn't been worked, it started uh, panning out really nice. But if you guys could go check us out on Patreon, it does help us out making our videos. If you need metal detectors equipment, I am a dealer. I can save you guys money on that stuff. Just reach out to me. But if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Push the bell for notifications. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace.